Welcome. This tutorial covers installing the regular version of Complete 9, which ships with disks. We'll begin by using the Muse file utility, which can be downloaded at plugarama.com. Before using the Muse file utility, it is best to close all open applications on your Mac. To launch the utility, just double click on the icon. For the Complete 9 install, you need to see hidden files, so click the Show button. Once the desktop restarts, it's time to insert the first disk of Complete 9. Double click to open the disk. Once open, you'll see the regular Mac and Windows installers, as well as several hidden installers that will be used for the receptor install. Now it's time to connect to the receptor hard drive. Once the hard drive appears, find the Drop Installers Here folder and double click to open it. Now select all the items in your first Complete 9 disk and then click and drag them into Drop Installers Here. Be sure not to put them in any of the subfolders like Progress, Installed, or Failed. Once the first disk is finished, insert the next disk, open it, and select its contents. Drag the contents. Down. Repeat this for all the disks in Complete. Once done, it's time to drag the Complete RPM into Drop Installers here, and then load the Receptor Viewer. Before installing anything, it's best to select New Empty Preset to clear all the plugins from the Receptor. Then proceed to Setup and select Software Manager. In the Software Manager, click on the Plugins tab and now look at the bottom of the window and press the Install Plugin button. We'll want to double click to load the Drop Installers Here folder and then find the Complete 9 RPM. It's usually at the bottom of the list of content. Select it and then hit the Install button. After a few seconds, the installer should launch. Click Next, agree to the terms, and continue to click Next. Leave all the default selections for directories and options. If you see an error like this appear, it means you must reinsert the complete disk it's asking for and copy the contents of that disk back to your Drop Installers Here folder. Once done, click the Finish button. This should launch the NI Service Center for product registration. After that's finished, you should just be left with this Install Plugins window. Click Done to close it. Next, look for the Scan for New button at the bottom of the Plugin window. This should scan your hard drive for all NI products and add them to your plugin list. Due to a problem with the NI installer, your battery samples will not be installed. To fix this, just install battery on your home computer. On the Mac, it's kept under the Users folder and then inside Shared. Once you've located the battery library, it's time to connect to your receptor hard drive. On the receptor, the battery library is kept under the Users folder, then Public, and then Documents. Find the Battery 4 Library folder and open it. You should notice that it's empty. Now copy the contents of your computer's Battery 4 Library folder onto the receptor. Be sure you copy the contents and not the Battery 4 Library folder itself. Now that Complete 9 is installed, it's time to delete the installers from Drop Installers here. Just select the installers and drag them down to the trash can. Be careful not to select the receptor folders Progress, Installed, and Failed.
Before we're done, it's time to launch the Muse file utility again. This time hit reset and your desktop should reset without the hidden files showing.